Working memory is your brain's post-it note in the same way that you use these little pieces of paper in order to write down important information and to do something with it. Working memory allows you to remember information and work with it as well. So let's take an example you might come across in your classroom. A set of instructions you give your students. Take out your math book. Open to page 92. Take out your pencil. To remember that information, you need your working memory, but you also need your working memory in order to process that information by carrying those steps out. For a student with good working memory, they'll be able to remember all that information and process it at the same time. However, for a student with poor working memory, they may be able to remember one or two instructions, but they may forget the correct page number to open to, or they may forget to take out their pencil. Why is this? A student with poor working memory often does not have enough space to work with all the necessary information. They have quite a small post-it note, so they're not able to work with all that information. In contrast, a student with good working memory has enough space to work with that information. In any one classroom, you will have a range of working memory ability, so you'll see different post-it note sizes amongst your students.